You know how people say, it's so good you can eat the bone? You can literally eat the bone. I'm about to just, you know, rinse this off, season it up, cut these vegetables up, throw them in here, and toss them in the Instant Pot right here. And then at the end of that, that's going to be what it is. So, so a super simple process. And I just took this, I just took this out right now, put it in there. You said they give you all the little chicken pieces, feet, gizzard, heart. So I'm about to season this up, season these, these guys right here, and then let's go. And this is all I seasoned it with y'all. Salt, garlic, some Montreal chicken seasoning. All right, y'all, so I got carried away with chopping up these vegetables. Normally I don't do all this for all these vegetables. So you see, I just spent a lot of time, maybe 20 minutes chopping up these vegetables. And I'm gonna grab some peppers right now. So let's just grab some peppers real quick. Got some in here. This is a mix of red and green peppers. I like it really spicy too. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe two more. So now y'all, I'm gonna season these vegetables. On top of that, I'm gonna season the chicken. So separately, I'm not gonna just throw seasoning in there, I'm gonna season them here and then season them there. And you can see just how tender the chicken is. See that? Just fall off the bone. You know, super, super tender. Very tender potatoes. Melt in your mouth type of stuff. Those of y'all that know me too, know that I would eat this on top of some rice. But those that are following my weight loss journey, you know that I'm cutting my calories and doing the calorie deficit thing right now. So I'm just having potatoes as my carbs, not rice, you know? So uh, vegetables are my carbs for the most part and fruit. So again, you know, you can definitely put this on top of some rice, take it to another level. Y'all wanna watch me eat some too? Mm. Hot. Mmm, the fuego. It's kinda hot right now, but you see the bone? You know how people say, it's so good you can eat the bone? Like, you, you can literally eat the bone. We're talking about super tender. I'm trying to tell y'all.